Hello, Sierra and Alicia here, and today we are in the world-famous Google Images Gallery, looking at Vincent van Gogh's famous Starry Night, completed in 1889. This painting is one of the most iconic paintings in the world, and as such has been subject to many popular and cultural rip-offs over the years. Yeah, and Dr. William Habacek wrote a great book on van Gogh, or van Gogh as the Dutch say it. He was born in 1853 in Holland. This was during the Industrial Revolution in Europe. That's right, Alicia. And after art school didn't work out too well, he moved to Paris, France. There he was influenced by the art movement of his time and the Expressionists. I remember reading an article recently in the Smithsonian Magazine about the conception of Starry Night. Oh, that sounds like a very interesting article. Yeah, and what it talked about was how Van Gogh developed a deep fascination with nature, night in particular. Interesting, as night is very difficult to capture. Yeah, and he, he did a series of pieces, including Starry Night of the Rhone, and this sort of culminated into his masterpiece, Starry Night, in the year 1889, outside of the village San Rome. Very interesting. And another thing I noticed was, didn't he actually paint this from inside an asylum? He did. Let's talk about his style. Ow. He was post-impressionist, and you can kind of see that in his painting. Mm-hmm. They have, like, the really visible large brush strokes, the colors. Um, it just it looks rapid. It does. It looks, very, it looks very nice. And now you can totally tell. Yeah, we get the sense of movement. Okay. Yeah. And it's interesting to me that, well, we today think of this as a masterpiece, he himself referred to it as a failure in a letter to his brother. That is very interesting, Sierra, but not typically as uncommon as oh, times in history. There were mm -hmm. several great people who thought they had a failing work when it wasn't. Say Lincoln, for example. Yeah, and his Gettysburg Address. He thought that was a failure, but it actually was one of the greatest speeches of all time. Yes. And even today, we, we see this as a pretty village, it's peaceful, maybe it's a reaction. I think you're right there. It's because maybe he was responding to all of the industrial stuff that was happening. Yeah, the factories. And the and cities. And we can't yes. really see the stars. Yeah, the, the light pollution. So what this really reminds me of are some of the images we get back from the Hubble telescope. His stars, they, they remind me of swirling galaxies millions of light years away. Yeah, I can see that. Now, our next image is by Rene Magritte, and it's the Treasury of Images, completed in 1929. Now, as a surrealist painter, Magritte was concerned with building a bridge between the dream world and reality. And actually, Alicia, in this painting, Magritte is being very much a realist, isn't he? He is, and actually, in his book, This Is Not a Pipe, Michael Foucault talks about this painting, the controversies it brings yeah. up, how, how there was actually, I guess, more than one version of this, just all the things. It was quite interesting. I can imagine that this received a lot of criticism. It actually did. Um, Magritte was actually quoted to have saying, the famous pipe, how people reproach me for it, and yet, could you stuff my pipe? No, it's just a representation, is it not? So if I had written on my picture, this is a pipe, I'd have been lying. Now, what is, why did he paint this in the first place? Well, he is doing several things. He yeah. is doing denial of authority and representation and challenging basically a lot of what art is. Yeah, the common perception. And... He kind of leaves us emotionally unsatisfied. He does. It's so controversial in the art world what he did here that it even is. Banksy has, in his way, um, brought this back up again with yeah. This is a Pipe. He, he takes this iconic painting and almost gives his own version of a knockoff, and, yeah. um, which there are many. Um, he takes a pipe almost from a new kitchen sink and sticks it on a board and goes, this is a pipe. And we literally see a pipe. And it, it never ceases to amaze me how many words, thoughts, feelings an image like this can provoke.